What is up guys? How is everybody doing? I am Tiff. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out. This is going to be a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't force it to fit your situation. If you would like a personal, all that information is in the description box below. Let's get right into this spirit, ancestors, and guides. Let's see what is going on with the collective's person. By the way, my kids are home. It is summertime, y'all. Y'all might hear them. I have three teenagers, okay? We have renewal. Woo woo. Okay, there's definitely somebody and this is coming together. Okay. This man as springs turning into summer. I feel like there's definitely some twin flames coming together. It's just beautiful, right? But I'm not just seeing this as the renewal of a relationship. I'm also seeing this as a renewal of self. Look at how gorgeous, look at how how this sun is illuminating off of her body. And we all know the sun is not only one of the happiest cards in the deck sun the sun card also means that things you, you know it's like a spiritual awakening you're seeing things differently things have been illuminated to you okay so i feel like this is a beautiful goddess a beautiful sacred woman who has been illuminated who has seen things different who has healed um and renewed herself and I definitely feel like it's been very bittersweet through this process okay you've went through some very tough times um I feel like you and this person have been through a lot of tough times it's been a bit very bittersweet very difficult process here okay but there's definitely this energy of renewal for the two of you an energy of things being illuminated and being looked at differently here wow my readings have been just beautiful today rejection mm. so yeah there's definitely an energy here where wow okay I feel like this masculine definitely rejected you in the past, okay? They could have been listening to other people. There's definitely was other people that were all in their head, okay? People who did not motherfucking matter. And it's almost like this masculine spirit guides were definitely trying to send this masculine clues, trying to lead this masculine in the right direction. But I definitely feel like this masculine might have rejected you and release this relationship there was a definitely a situation of maybe you getting blocked or cut off of this masculine listening to i'm definitely feeling like maybe karmic family members or somebody in their family that was telling them to cut this relationship off or stop fucking with you okay I feel like there's definitely been this energy and I'm not, you know, this energy of this uh, as they released you. Okay. Because look at how this card looks. You have re release and renewal, right? Look at during the release, how this card looks there. It's raining. It's dark. This dude, he looks very hobo-ish. Okay. Very sad. And then in the renewal card is this beautiful sacred woman, right? I feel like it's this masculine that definitely did the rejecting here and I feel like it left somebody no choice but to have to release this I feel like you had no choice but to have to go through some kind of dark times but it's almost like this person went through those same kind of dark times here I feel like this person there could have been somebody that passed away in their life this could have been the person that was like leading them away from this relationship but that's not for everybody okay but there is definitely this energy of you rejecting them. You know, it's like if they if they want to come in and renew this relationship and recover this relationship, now you'll reject them. Okay? So it's almost like they feel like due to their their decisions and their rejection of you, now you're going to reject them. And so they have to release this. This is a situation that they never wanted to release or let go of in the first place. Like I said, this was gossip. This was people putting things in their ear. This is family members that didn't like you. Whatever it was that caused them to lead astray. This person's intuition didn't want them to leave this relationship. They did not want to let this relationship go. 
they fought against their intuition who these spirit guides were putting things in their head like this is your person you need to work on this instead they listened to outwardly energies and they rejected this and it's almost like they did not want to release this relationship it hurt them to have to release this and let it, it go they didn't have to it was a decision that they made due to gossip due to rumors due to people talking But this relationship is coming into a place of recovery. You know, it's like you hold the key to this person's heart. They hold the key to your heart. And so this relationship is going to be coming into a place of renewal and recovery. But it's almost like they had to release these energies in their life that were putting these things, these negative things in their ear about you. I feel like these people were very close to them. You didn't get along with these people. These people would make it out like it was you that didn't get along with them. You that was rude to them. When really it was them that would make you feel very, very out of place. Okay? And as this family did that shit, like they... And this could have been friends, whatever it is. But now they're realizing that I need to release and cut off these toxic ass people that are putting this shit in my ear as long as they had these people in their lives or close or trusted these lying ass people y'all could never be in a relationship because these people would lie on you they would down talk you they would make you you know make this masculine feel like you weren't shit to them you know like you were no good for them um and and, it, and this masculine knew when it hurt them like a motherfucker to let you go they knew that they were making a fucking mistake but you're not going to come back and be around these people. You're not going to hang out with them and these people. So it's like they have to cut these people off in order to have this relationship with you. And I feel like they're doing this. They're definitely cutting people out of their life right now. Yeah, trying to balance out this situation. And look, people are going to be mad as fuck. Look at how crazy that is. Because there's this person. They're carrying this weight. They're just trying to get this. They're just trying to balance this situation out with you. And look at, you got people with their backs turned, looking mad as hell, arms crossed with shitty ass looks on their face because this person wants to balance this and work this out with you. And so these people that were all putting this shit in this masculine's head are now mad as fuck. They're going to be jealous. They're going to be pissed. They're going to be bitter as fuck. But I feel like you have been, you know, it's like you've been praying and they've been praying. And there's something, you could have a child with this person or there could be a child on the way or you could eventually have a child with this person. But there's definitely been like a prayer, this person praying. Like, I don't know if they're spiritual or if they Christian, whatever it is. Um, but they've definitely been to praying to whatever they believe, believe in. Like, that they have a chance to make this right. Because they were listening to the wrong. And you know, a lot of us do. We people get influenced when by by strong karmic energies, right? You have to level up. Your soul has to become a soldier. You know, that's why it's soul, soldier. We are soldiers, right? And we we aren't meant to be weak. And if we're weak, that's when the devil can come and take control over our lives. And that's what happened. I feel like this person was very weak. They were very weak-minded. They would let people get in their head. They would let rumors get in their head. They would let gossip get in their head. Uh, and they wanted to please everybody else. And now this weak-ass person feels truly weak because the person that they're in love with and that they wanted to be with has is now on the verge of rejecting them, right? Or has rejected them. Um, they're definitely coming in to balance this situation out with you, okay? Definitely coming in to balance this situation out with you. You might hear my kids. They're back there yelling at each other. Um, yeah, see, but spirit did this for a reason, okay? Archangel Michael, protection prevented from harm, divine intervention. Whoever these people are, yeah, see, these people were definitely, you got divine feminine retaliation, proof show me. Wow, okay, dokie, wow. There's definitely this energy, okay, 
where we have somebody that's very motherfucking jealous of this divine feminine and they want retaliation. They want to get revenge. They want to punish you. They want to pay you back. I don't know if you got into it with somebody that this person knows, but this person went around toxic, unhealthy behaviors and told lies on you. This toxic ass, jealous ass person told lies on you. They wanted to punish you. They wanted to pay you back for something, okay? Um, But it's almost like, you were smart. If who if somebody was talking down on you and talking shit about you, you were like telling whoever it, your divine masculine or what it's like, well, get proof. Show me. Show me the proof on whatever this person's lying the fuck about because they're lying. Ask this person for receipts. Ask them for, you know what I'm saying, to, to for proof. You're believing the lies that this person is telling you, but you don't have no fucking proof. You don't have no receipts. This toxic, unhealthy person is trying to hand your person this apple, seeing if they're going to take the bite. And it's all just to punish you, to pay you back, to get revenge on and retaliation on this divine feminine. Okay? But I feel like you have been protected. Through Archangel Michael, they protected you from this motherfucking... Look at how she's looking in the direction. This is a feminine energy of the Divine Feminine. She wanted this motherfucking retaliation, this payback, this revenge on you. But Spirit said, nah, not my motherfucking child. And Archangel Michael wrapped his arms around you, protected you, preventing you from harm. Nah, buddy, it ain't going down like that. And I feel like that's where you was like, bitch, you got me fucked up. You know, show me receipts. Show me proof. I'm not going to continue for you to ask me about something you've heard and it's just lies anyway why do I have to defend myself from other people when you're supposed to be my person and trust me right you know it at one point it almost had you having to negotiate or bargain on things that you haven't even done based on motherfucking rumors okay um I feel like whoever this person is they are really fascinated with you stalking you watching your every motherfucking mood okay whoever there's two energies here and they're both stalking you they're both watching your every move the one that wants this retaliation this revenge on you is definitely keeping an eye on you trying to find something that they can use against you um to prove that they weren't lying but to see this masculine they're seeing that Whoever this gossiper was, they were straight up fucking lying. They were telling stories. They weren't being honest at all with that, you know, and so it's almost like this masculine finally did was like, well, do you have proof? Do you have receipts? And they started realizing this person's toxic, unhealthy. They lying. Okay. Um. And that's where I feel like now, you know, this masculine is cutting off people and this person that wants their revenge is just trying to find any little thing that they can use to try to be like, oh, look, see, I told you. You, you see what I'm saying? When literally everything that they said was based on lies, fake ass shit that they made up. Nothing was true. Um, so now you have this masculine, okay, who's watching you and they're going to come in, becoming a negotiator with the no negotiator card. They're going to come in negotiating, bargaining, trying to beg, trying to fix this relationship. And there's also that karmic energy who is now negotiating, trying to bargain and beg with this masculine, um, because they're getting cut off. You know, if you're going to be toxic, if you're going to try to poison my relationship and throw lies in just to blatantly, like, I feel like whoever this person is, this jealous female, they were trying to come across as this masculine's friend, like, oh, I'm just going to tell you as a friend. Um, and it's one thing if it was true, if he was out here doing some bullshit and it was true and they went and told this masculine, that's one thing. But this female literally made up lies, blatant lies to destroy your relationship. That's not a friend. That's not somebody that's looking out for you. That's somebody that's trying to ruin your life. And that's how this masculine is looking at this person now. Like, you're not a friend. You literally blatantly made up lies to make me believe it to destroy my relationship. And this person is bargaining. They're begging. It could be family. It could be a friend. Whatever it is. It's begging this person. And they're watching you to try to find some dirt on you. And it's not happening. So now this masculine is watching you realizing, damn, you know, and they're going to be coming in negotiating, bargaining, begging, wanting to fix this connection, wanting to fix this relationship.
Yeah, see, this person's just going to want to get away from everybody. It says it's time to disconnect from the world. They're just going to want to disconnect from friends, family, everybody. I cannot make this shit up. Just give retreat, get away with you, spend time with you, and really say fuck them other energies. And it's going to have people jealous. It's going to have them talking. But, you know, they really need to shut their mouths because gossip is what got their ass in this situation in the first fucking place, telling lies. Okay? All right, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.